Hey everyone, Creepy Goth Cosplay here, or if this is on my other channel, Creepypasta696. Um, I made a story a while back. It's called I Still Love You. I've been meaning to um, read it to you guys. So if you like it, please leave some feedback and everything. And further to do, here we go. Chapter 1. Scared. I was just going to the mall with some friends. One of my friends was being an idiot. I mean, he kept bothering me, saying, Hey, do you want to go somewhere else? Or just kept poking me, nonstop. Even when I said, Stop! But he is one of my best friends. And my other friend was looking at boys. Like a normal girl would do? After a few hours pass, like I want to say one to three hours, I started to tell my friends, bye, see ya, and head home. On my way home, I heard a strange noise. It probably was just the trees rustling in the wind, so I ignored it and walked a lot faster. When I got home, I locked the door. I thought I saw something outside my door, but it probably was just my imagination. I heard someone call my name, Zoe. I ran to my room and locked the door. I asked, who is it? But nothing was said. I asked again, who is there? But nothing. I told myself it was just my imagination. But then I heard a scratch at my door, like a cat was scratching. I yelled, stop, just stop it. It said my name again, Zoe. I started to cry as the warm tears go down my face. It broke in. I saw what it looked like. It looked like a cat. But human? I tried to stop crying so I could see more of the creature. It said, Hello, I just wanted to play. I said, What, what did you say? The creature said, Let's play now. I said, I really don't want to. I want to go to bed. Okay? The creature said, no. I started to stand up, but the creature pushed me down. Stop it! I stand back up again, and before the creature could push me down, I dodged the attack and ran out of my room, down the stairs, and out the door. I just kept running and running and running. I couldn't breathe. As it got dark out and the moon started to get brighter, I saw something run right towards me. I dodged the attack and ran to my friend's house. When I got there, I was yelling, Hey, wake up! She opened the door. I ran inside and locked the door. She was wondering what was going on. I told her all of the stuff that was going on. She noticed a scratch on my arm like a cat scratched me. I didn't even realize it. I told her maybe the creature did it. I mean, the creature did have kind of like cat nails, but I didn't even know what was going on. I mean, I did, but at the same time, it was going too fast for me. Plus, I was running for my life, and the creature chasing me like a mouse I sigh and said, can I sleep here? She moved her head up and down and said, sure, I'm fine with it. I said, thanks. She showed me a room I was going to sleep in. I said, thanks again. She said, what are friends for? Then left. I sat down on my bed. I started to sigh again and went under the covers and slept. When I woke up, it was already sunset, 
I was wondering where my friend was. I yelled for her, but nothing. I searched high and low for her, but still nothing. I started to cry, but then I heard a blood-curdling scream. I ran out of the room I was staying in and ran down the stairs and into the kitchen. I was shocked with what I saw, blood all over the place. I saw the creature with a bloody bat in hand. I screamed when I saw my friend's head getting smashed into the bloody wall with the bloody bat in hand. The next thing I saw was even more gruesome. I tried to hold in my vomit, but I just couldn't. Just then, the creature looked directly at me. I froze, my body tensed up like I just couldn't move. Just then, I heard my name, Zoe, being yelled across the room. I looked to see who was yelling my name. It was Rob. I yelled, get the hell, but before I could finish my sentence, the creature cut me off and ran at Rob. The creature took Rob by the throat and placed its claws deep within his chest while ripping out his skin slowly and painfully. As the blood dripped down his chest, he screamed at the top of his lungs. You could see in his face expression, he was in deep, agonizing pain. I really don't even like Rob, but his face was just, it was brutal. I saw the next part. I saw where the creature placed its claws on his stomach and digged deep and deeper until the creature had a good grip on his skin and ripped it. As he screamed in agony, all his bloody organs gushed out of his body all over the place. I saw the creature start to laugh. I ran over to my friend and tried to help her, but it was already too late. I ran out of the kitchen and out the door. I was already out of breath. I screamed on the top of my lungs. Someone, please, help me! I saw someone. I didn't know who it was, but she had two swords on her back and two knives, one in her hand and one in her boot. She reached out her hand to me, and I took it, then told me, Run as fast as you can. So I did. We ran like there was no tomorrow. Just then, the sun came up. My skin felt really weird. Like, it felt like my skin was melting off my body. I screamed in agony. She took me into the dark woods and laid me next to a tree. I asked, who are you? She said, I am a protector. I asked, what's your name? She said, it's Penelope, the protector, and if I may ask, what is your name? I said my name, Zoe. Why is the creature chasing me? She said, because the creatures scratch you, that's why. I said, oh, I'm going to turn into that creature, right? Penelope said, yes, you are. I yelled, just kill me then. I don't want to be like that thing. She said, no, you have a purpose in life. And if you want, I can help you. I yelled, how becoming like a monster like that thing do I have a bloody purpose? She said, you wouldn't be bad. You'd be a good monster. Just then, we heard a noise, a big one in the woods. We had to run, but I was too weak. So she had to carry me. I blacked out. When I woke up, I was in a different place. I felt like I was at home, but it wasn't my house. It was Penelope's house. The walls and ceiling were really pink. 
I was wondering where she was. I looked to see the cut on my arm. It was healing really fast, and I realized something. I was wearing a necklace. It was blue, but there was a moon and stars on the necklace. The moon and stars were black. Just then, I saw Penelope. I was going to ask a question, but she cut me off and started to talk. She said, How are you feeling? I said, I feel a lot better. You said you could help me when we were in the woods, right? She said, yes. I cut her off before she could say anything about my health. I said, let's get started then. I hopped out of bed. She was amazed that I healed fast. She said, okay then, but I have to find out what you're good in first. As I train day and night to find out what I'm good in, I start to wonder, was there others like me? And what was the creature's real name? It couldn't have been just creature, could it? I tried to find Penelope so I could ask some questions. She was in the attic. I knocked at the door. She said, I'll be a minute. So I waited there and waited and waited and waited. Finally, she opened the door. I said, I have a lot of questions for you. She said, what are they? I said, I was wondering if there were others like me and what was the creature's real name? She said, yes, there are others like you, but not all of them are good. And the creature's name is Kitty. I ask, what are the others' names? She said the names of the others. Raven, Violet, X, Razor, Sasha, Rocco, and Alexander. I ask, which ones are good and bad? She looked at me and asked, why do you want to know all this? I said the truth. I was wondering if we could team up with some of them to fight Kitty. She looked at me. I could tell she knew it was the truth, but she couldn't accept it. She said, no, we are not going to associate with those others. Do I make myself clear? I yelled. No, you know we need them. So what the hell? If Kitty attacks us and we have no one on our side, then what do we do? Well? She looked down and said, Fine, we will have them on our side. But if one of them fights with me, I'm quitting the team then, okay? I said, what is your problem with all of them? She said, just some stuff in the past with some of them. I asked, can you tell me? She looked at me and said, yes. That's the end of chapter one. I hope you liked it. Um, I know it's kind of cheesy and everything. Um, I hope you like my narration as well. Um, if you did like it, please like, share, subscribe. And click the notification bell because I do tons of different things on this channel. Um, if you want me to do something else, please write in the comments down below. And I will be happy to do it. Other than that, have a lovely day. And thank you for listening.